What is food sovereignty? That is a really big question. When we look at lands, especially across British Columbia, all of them were purposely shaped since time immemorial for foods, medicines, technologies. And so when we look at lands today, we're seeing a legacy state of that time until it was disrupted by colonialism. Food sovereignty is the reclamation and revitalization of our food systems. And being able to access those foods and medicines, again, find new ones as we face a changing climate. It's really about cultural resurgence. I think all of us are facing challenges in terms of food security. We don't want to take or steal indigenous knowledges, but there are models there that can help lead other communities in how we can integrate and improve our relationships with land so that we can diversify our food system. One really important project that I'm working on is actually in wildfire recovery with nations that faced the wildfires after the heat dome in June of 2021. Very high severity burns occurred in Statlium and Inglacatmic territories. Our research team is working alongside communities to understand what the impacts to our culturally important plants are. If you think of land as just vegetation and sort of an aesthetic notion of what belongs, you're going to have very different approaches and different outcomes than if you see that land as a food system, not just for humans, but for our animal relations, our bird relations, our fish relations, our insect relations. You're going to work with a greater specificity of place and very deep knowledges to steer that. And so we're working alongside communities to develop those indigenized processes around wildfire our recovery that honor our food systems and sustainability and resiliency as we face a changing climate. I think one of the greatest challenges that we face right now is the vulnerability of Indigenous knowledge to the interest in our knowledges at this point in history in recognition that they do have something very valuable to offer. How do we respectfully bring those knowledges together like Western science and indigenous knowledges that we're not compromising either one of those, but we're honoring both of them. Land-based learning is one of those opportunities. To get students out on the land, being able to learn and pick up on the different relationships that you would never get in a classroom setting gives us that opportunity while they're learning to then be taking those steps to give back. My wish is for people to know the history of the lands that they live on so that they can understand what the food systems were, what they are, and what they could be. Learn the plants of those lands and find a way to invite them into your life. Find a way to learn how to take care of them and nurture them and steward them. And I think that is a very important piece of reconciliation action. And also a very significant and important and underestimated piece of achieving food security.